am working as consultant gynecologist at Manipal Hospital, Kharani, Pune. And today I'll be talking about contraception. So the first question which comes to our mind is, why is contraception so important? Contraception is important to prevent unwanted pregnancies. It gives us the, it gives us the freedom to choose, to plan and uh, not undergo unwanted or unplanned abortions. Now, now the next question is, what are the contraception choices available to us? So the contraception choice is varied and it can be divided broadly into two categories, the temporary and the permanent methods. So first, just a little bit about the permanent methods. The permanent methods are the vasectomy in the male and the tubectomy in the female. And these are absolute non-reversible methods. So if you are very sure that you don't want to continue having any pregnancies, you don't want any more children, then it is the best to go for a tubectomy or a vasectomy. And it would be best to consult your doctor before going in for that. Second are the temporary methods. Now there are a wide variety of temporary methods again available to us. So the first is the natural method that is the withdrawal also known as coitus interruptus. This is not very advisable because it has a very high failure rate. The second are the condoms which are very widely available, very easy to use and cheap. And they do protect us against sexually transmitted diseases. But again, the failure rate is quite high. So we need better methods of contraception. There comes the role of pills. Pills are to be taken daily. There is usually a pack of 21. There may be some with a pack of 28 also. And uh, they are quite safe if taken under medical super supervision. Next, we have the injectables, the DIMPA or the DIPO Provera. Now, one injection is available and uh, one injection is uh, gives contraception for around three months. And you can safely use it for a prolonged period of time. It may have some side effects like irregular bleeding, a little bit of weight gain, or and uh, some uh, sometimes the bleeding may not even occur. But they are quite effective with 99% efficacy. Next, we come to the patches, the rings. These are not available freely in India, so I will not be discussing more about them. The IUCD that is the intrauterine contraceptive device or also known as the copper tea commonly is widely used and is very very effective. So we come to the next that is the copper tea or the intrauterine contraceptive device which is quite commonly used by women in India. It is very very effective and almost it is effective as good as the permanent methods. However, at times it may cause irregular bleeding, sometimes heavy bleeding and pain. I will urge you to meet your gynecologist and from the splatter of contraception available to us, you choose your own which suits you best. Thank you so much.